The first way is to connect an I.O. pin that's been set as an output using the pin mode function, and then you write that output high using digital write, and then you accidentally connect that pin directly to one of the ground pins on the Arduino. So what happens is this creates an overcurrent condition on that pin. Another way to create an overcurrent condition is if you have two I.O. pins set as outputs, so again, pin mode set as output for two different I.O. pins, and then you write one high, that'd be five volts, and then the other low, ground voltage, and then you connect them together. So you've essentially done the exact same thing as before by driving too much current through the pins. But now, instead of losing just one I.O. pin, you've actually destroyed two. Here again, setting some pins high and some pins low are something you're going to do all the time using Arduino. So you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for making this mistake. Also an overvoltage condition that can do damage. If we look at the data sheet of the microcontroller that the Arduino uses, there's a section that's called absolute maximum ratings. And on here we see this section where it says voltage on any pin except reset with respect to ground. And then it says it's negative 0.5 volts to VCC plus 0.5 volts. So for our purposes, we're gonna say VCC is five volts. Anytime you exceed 5.5 volts on a pin, you can damage that pin, and you can mo do more than just damage the pin. So if you're working with some components that you're powering with a, se a separate power source, and then you allow, say, let's say you're using like a nine volt battery to power something else. If you allow that power that if you allow that nine volts to be applied to one of the uh, I.O. pins, then you can damage that pin. And the actual damage is gonna depend. It depends on how the fail occurs. In some cases, you're just gonna lose the pin. And that's the good situation. But you could also screw up other components too, like the USB interface chip. So you definitely don't wanna apply more than 5.5 volts to any of the I.O. pins on the Arduino. At some point in your adventures with Arduino, you're gonna to want to power your Arduino away from a computer, you know, without the USB cable. And so, you know, one common method is to say, use a nine volt battery. And you could either plug the nine volt battery into the power jack, or you can actually plug the terminals directly in to the Arduino uh, headers in the VN and the ground. So the positive voltage of the battery, uh, to that positive terminal goes to VN and the negative terminal goes to ground. But if you switch those pins, so instead of having the positive going to VN, but instead you have the positive going to ground. So if you mistakenly do this, you're pretty much going to fry the microcontroller and the 5 volt regulators on the Arduino board is also going to be destroyed. So you don't want to do that. Now, the final way that you can have a bad day with your Arduino that we're going to talk about today is if you apply greater than 5 volts to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino. Now you might be wondering, well, why would I ever put 5 volts on, you know, greater than 5 volts on that 5 volt pin? That just doesn't make sense. And you're right, it doesn't make sense. You wouldn't normally Normally do that. Same thing applies for the 3.3 volt connector pin. If you apply greater than 3.3 volts to that pin, you can do some damage to the Arduino. Now, the way this could happen, again, is if you're using different voltages on the on maybe a breadboard, you've got one rail set up for uh, maybe even 5 volts or 9 volts or whatever, and you inadvertently allow that higher voltage to get applied to that 3.3 volt pin. So what's going to happen is other devices that you've powered from the pin, for example, any 3.3 volt shields you might have plugged in, those could be destroyed. And if you apply more than 9 volts to that pin, then you can actually destroy the 3.3 volt regulator that's on the Arduino itself. So let's talk about another way that you can do some damage to your Arduino board. Let's say you have a standalone project and you want to power it using the DC power jack. So maybe you, you know, you've got like a nine volt battery supply or something like that powering your Arduino. Now, if you inadvertently connect the VN pin to the ground pin, what essentially happens is you are short circuiting that DC power jack input. And what that can do is exceed the current rating of a blocking diode on the Arduino. So if the current's high enough, you can actually destroy the diode on the Arduino and some of the PCB traces might actually melt due to the heat from the current. So this is obviously best avoided. Now you may know that the Arduino Uno board has a five volt regulator on it. Now that five volt regulator will regulate voltage that comes through the USB port or 
voltage that comes through the DC power input jack, but it will not regulate voltage that's coming from an external source. So why am I talking about this 5 volt regulator? Well, I wanna talk about how we can destroy this regulator. Now last week we talked about powering the Arduino board from an external source using that VN pin. Well, it turns out you can also power the Arduino board by applying a voltage of five volts to the five volt pin. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why would I do that? And to be honest, you know, I'm really not sure why you'd wanna do that, but some people do. There are apparently some needs for it, but it's not recommended by Arduino. In fact, if you go to the Arduino product page, it has a little line in there that says, hey, we don't recommend uh, supplying voltage to the Arduino board through the five volt pin. Well, let's say you say, yeah, heck with it. I mean, you know, that's what we tend to do. So you're, let's say you're supplying five volts through that five volt pin, but then you set up a circuit on the VN pin. So you've got some type of load connected to VN and it's going to ground, or if, or if you were just to correct, connect VN directly to ground when you're applying this external voltage. Well, you can destroy the five volt regulator on the Arduino board, because essentially what happens is you're forcing current in the reverse direction through that regulator. So definitely something not to do. One of the more robust pins on your Arduino is the reset pin. It's actually connected directly to the microcontroller that the Arduino uses. But like we've said, and especially in the last episode, everything has limits, the Arduino is no different, and the reset pin is no different. And it can handle voltages up to 13 volts, which is pretty cool, but if you go over that, you're going to damage that microcontroller. So you'll want to avoid applying more than 13 volts to that reset pin. So the final way we'll talk about destroying or damaging your Arduino is if you exceed the total microcontroller current. So what am I talking about? Well, remember last week we talked about each individual I.O. pin can draw up to 40 milliamps. If you go over that, you can damage the pin. Well, if you exceed a total of 200 milliamps from any of the pins added together, then you can also damage the microcontroller. So an example of this would be, let's say you have 10 LEDs hooked up and each LED is pulling 20 milliamps. Well, you're gonna be right at that limit of 200 milliamps. And that's just with 10 LEDs. So as you're thinking about the projects that you're gonna be building with your Arduino, you need to be cognizant of how much current each one of those pins is going to be drawing, so individually, making sure that they don't exceed 40 milliamps. And then you need to think about all the pins as a whole. Are you at any specific point in time going to be drawing more than 200 milliamps? A quick review of what not to do. Don't take an Arduino I.O. pin, have it set to high, and then connect it directly to ground. Don't take an Arduino I.O. pin set to high and connect it to another Arduino I.O. pin set to low. Again, not a good idea. Don't apply a voltage exceeding 5.5 volts to any of the I.O. pins. It's gonna destroy those pins. If you're going to apply power to the Arduino through the VN header connectors, make sure not to reverse the polarity of the VN ground power connections. Do not apply greater than five volts to the five volt connector pin on the Arduino. All right, you don't want to apply more than 3.3 volts to the 3.3 volt connector pin. If you're powering the Arduino using the DC power jack, you don't want to short V in to ground. If you've decided, against the recommendation of Arduino, to apply external power via the five volt pin, and then you put a load on V in, you can destroy that five volt regulator. You don't want to apply greater than 13 volts to the reset pin, and you don't want to exceed the total microcontroller current which is 200 milliamps. So all of the current that you're pulling from all of those IO pins added together shouldn't exceed 200 milliamps.